Today, we're going to be building our first house in Evergreen Valley, and it's going to be a futuristic modern house. So let's head on over to our new street, and we're going to get this entire house built today and build out a whole bunch of vehicles to go along with the property. Here we go. Let's take a right, and this is going to be the new lot for building on the house. All right, we're going to build right here. It's up on a hillside, and we can see pretty much everything, and it's pretty cool. You can even get a good view of Frontier City over there. So it's pretty sweet. You got the police station up on the left. So when we do need to become a police officer, it's only a short drive. So yeah, everything else around here is pretty cool. There's some farming fields down there. Local farmer John and farmer Paul over there. So that's going to be cool. Maybe we'll uh, join along in a tractor someday and learn the ropes of farming. But I highly doubt it. Let's go build the mansion and let's build out some custom vehicles. Here it is, boys. Check out this mansion. It is just sweet. It has got everything you could want in a house. It's got a garage. It's got an actually giant garage. It can fit six vehicles in it. And then we've got like four bedrooms bedrooms, three bathrooms. It's gigantic. So let's go check it out inside. We'll give the full tour. Once we're done, we got to build out the driveway and do uh, some other minor things until we're done building out the official house. We got to connect the street up to the driveway. So we're going to go with the same concrete hexagon texture we've got. So it's this one. This is a super nice material. We're going to go all the way around through the driveway. We're not doing any circular driveway. We're just going to do an extended driveway. Let's just match it up to the house here. There we go. And then let's go to the right here. So we're going to put some flowers and stuff out front. Let's go ahead and fix it up right around there. So when I say extended driveway, it's going to go about to right there. So that way, when we have guests, they can park on this side of it. And then we're going to go ahead and fix up the plants again. So we're going to put some plants back down alongside the house. There we go on the front side. And then along the side of the house because it makes it look pretty nice. So there we go. And and the final spot. All right. And that kind of hides our AC unit in the corner there. We got the AC, one of the three AC units in the corner. So we hid that. Looks pretty good. I do have to say the driveway is nice. I like it. We're not going to do anything over here yet. We might build in a custom garage in the near future, but for now, it's going to remain empty. Now over here, what we can do is we're going to build in a little fire pit area. We're going to go ahead and do a little dirt path, and then you can't have a fire pit on dirt. So we got to put some gravel down. That way, uh, a little bit more uh, sturdy. It doesn't fall over and light a fire. So we'll put a little concrete patch there and then connect it with our house. So we've got a cool hangout space in the back. I think uh, I think it's time for the tour. Let's go check it out. But before we check this house out, guys, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more cool mansions like this. Anyhow, let's head inside. Let's check this place out. There we go. All right. First impressions. It feels like a home. There's lots of nice cool pictures on the wall, a plant there. Let's go check out some of the rooms here. So first one we got is the mud room, they call it. This is where you put all your jackets, your shoes, and this connects to your garage, your six car garage here. So it's just a two car garage, but you can do two, two, and two vehicles here. So that's pretty nice. You'd have to move them around every now and then. The entire space is giant. So you can put as many cars in here as you want. They got a little workspace, a safe there to store some money and some fishing gear. So that's pretty sweet. Let's head inside and check out the actual house now. So I like how that's kind of near the front of the house. So when your guests come in, they can kind of take their shoes off here. And let's move on to the first door on the left, which is your hangout space. Well, more your music studio. This has got a bunch of guitars on the wall, a piano. You can sing if you want and and a nice guitar with a big amp. So you can definitely play some loud guitars. You got some drums, and then you've also got some sound paneling. These are soundproof panels. These will uh, absorb the sound so it doesn't echo. So that's pretty sweet too. Let's go ahead and move on to the next room. And this is gonna be probably my favorite room because check it out, it's a YouTube recording studio. That's right, it comes with a green screen, a gaming chair, dual monitors, even got your own light there. This looks like it might be actually a streaming setup because they've got the light and they probably got a face cam. We have not streamed in a while. So if you wanna see a stream, if we hit 3,000 likes on this video, Video, I'll go live. And then we've got a little massage chair. So that's pretty cool. We got a printer. What else we got? Another gaming desktop and an RC helicopter. All right. Very cool. Uh, next room is going to be the laundry room. My least favorite room. And then you move outside. So obviously we're not done. We still got to check out the kitchen. But right out here is the cool hangout space, the grill. Look at that. That's a nice grill. You get a sink out here. And I was talking about potentially doing a fire pit. But then I realized we got this. We don't need a fire pit. We've got a fireplace. It's built into the house. That's pretty sweet. We can turn it off. It's all powered by gas, so we can actually just flip a switch and it'll be on. We're into the living room now. This is a pretty cool space too. A nice TV, watching movies. Got a cool bookcase, some movies in it, and then you got your dining table, some waffles, and some scrambled eggs. Oh, I don't mind if I do. And then we got the kitchen. This is a pretty simple kitchen, but you got everything you would possibly need. You got all your uh, coffee pots there. You got your microwave, paper towel, fridge. Everything that you would possibly need is in this kitchen. Let's check out under the stairs. So they got a little hot water here. Heater. This would be the last place I'd check for a hot water heater, but there is no basement on this house, so they got to put it there. And then you got uh, some uh, extra bins for storage, and let's head upstairs. This would be the second floor of two, so there's no more after this. There's lots of space. There's like 
four bedrooms just up in this one level. This is the bathroom. So this is like a shared bathroom for these two rooms. So you get the first room up on the left, which is pretty good size. Comes with an Xbox. Oh, would you look at that? They're playing Farming Simulator. What a great game. So that's a nice room. And then you move on to the next one. This is a cool room too. They got a gaming setup. Not a bad view of the city too. You can kind of see through there. Let's move on to the next room. But before we do, what else is pretty cool is that the second floor, you got a little overlook of your entire living room. Maybe, uh, you know, if breakfast is ready, throw it up here. You don't have to walk all the way downstairs. Someone could just toss it to you. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, how many doors? Okay, we've done those three. We're moving on to the fourth door. Another bathroom, but this one doesn't have a shower. All right, this will be... Okay, this is a kid's room. Check this out. Oh my gosh. That's a tiny bed. Okay, yeah, they got uh, two beds there and then two gaming chairs. That's pretty cool. Another bathroom. Jeez, there's like a million bathrooms in this place. And then we've got the last room here. This is probably the master room with the balcony view. This is not a bad view. Pretty cool. I think that's the entire house, guys. So we're finished checking out the house and building out the driveway. So the only other thing we got to do is spend some more money on some vehicles. Let's head back outside. We're going to jump in the Mustang currently parked on the front lawn. And we're going to go ahead over to Clever Motors. We're going to customize three different vehicles. I'm thinking two sports cars and a truck. That way we've got a mix of everything. And we'll have four vehicles total to park up in the garage. And there should be enough space in there to park everything. So let's head over to Clever Motors motors and spend us some money here we go back at clever motors i feel like we've given these people about a billion dollars by now because they've got the best prices and we buy all of our cars from them so we're gonna go customize two additional sports cars but the mustang that makes it three and then we're gonna build out a truck so we get three cars to buy and we've got a, a lot of money to spend we could buy some nicer cars than just the mustang this is about a hundred thousand so we'll probably spend a few hundred thousand on some new cars let's head into the shop Alrighty, the first vehicle we're customizing is a mclaren p1 now, this is a track vehicle, and these are $1.2 million. So, we already spent uh, a lot of our budget. We had about $5 million. We spent a million on the house, and then one point uh, close to three on this car. So, yeah, we bought a red McLaren. Pretty nice looking vehicle. Let's go move on to the next sports car. And then finally, we're going to build out a custom lifted truck, which will be about $150,000. So, it'll save us some money. Let's go check out the next vehicle. All right, the next vehicle is a Aston Martin DBS Super Legera. Now, this is a nice car. It comes with a nice red paint to match our theme so we're gonna customize this thing out option one for the red looks good obviously we're gonna black out the rims that looks pretty sweet and then this one's about three hundred four thousand, so it's not as bad as that mclaren p1 but that p1 is gonna be our show-stopping vehicle that thing is gonna just smoke every single vehicle on the track and then also it's just super good handling so we need to have a good track car and that'll be it and then this will be our sunday cruiser this thing's pretty sweet too and let's go ahead and buy it three hundred thousand down the drain and finally we're gonna build out another chevy truck we don't build out too many Chevys, but this one's got some cool customizations. We've got about 15 customizations to go through here. This is going to be the ultimate customized build. So let's go ahead. The first thing we're going to do is going to switch the engine to 550 horsepower. This is a 6.2 liter V8 small block LS3. Whatever that means, it's got a lot of power. So let's build that out. Wheel setup. We can go pretty crazy with the wheels. Ready? Watch this. Oh my gosh. 40 inch wheels. Okay. I've never seen this before. I don't think that looks the best, but we can definitely put some giant wheels on this thing. So we're going to go with the U.S. wheel option. Let's see how 37s. I think 37s would look good. Let's put some giant 37 tires on this thing. Those are Nokian tractor tires. That is sweet. Hold on. Let's switch the rims up on this thing, though. We need some cool rims if we're going to go with this thing. So let's go back to the Nokian tire. Okay, this is not it. There we go. Those things look sweet. All right. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a bed cover. Steps. Let's do some off-road steps, too. Go with the theme here. Attachments. We're going to need probably a trailer hitch. It's going to be a drop hitch, too. That thing, uh, this thing's lifted so we need it there we go we get about a nine inch drop hitch we can actually put a welder on the back i don't want that though we're not doing any welding front bumper we can add a bull bar we can add a front farm bumper but i think we're gonna leave that just like that that looks pretty good led lighting Ooh, we got a light bar on the top all right we're gonna add the light bar cb radios on the back that looks pretty sweet too and cherry red boys of course so that looks pretty sweet we need to match the mirrors though there we go what other options can we go with here we can actually color match that bumper up front here so that looks cool obviously the rim color looks terrible right now so we're gonna black it all out there we go that looks sweet frame color will go red too so now i got the red brake calibers and then some of this parts on that oh now we actually can go all red for the frame look at that now it's all red frame all red truck this thing's looking clean boys let's go ahead and buy this thing only thirty one thousand. that's pretty cheap and there we go these cars are looking good this is a sweet looking setup we usually don't customize an aston martin or a chevy truck i'm glad we could include these two options let's get these things on back to the house check out the light bar on this thing that's pretty sweet too some pretty bright lights. I think we're ready to roll, boys. I'll meet you back at the mansion when everything is set up. We gotta make sure this truck can fit in our garage. All right, we've got all the cars lined up in the garage. It's actually 
looks a lot better. I was thinking of going straight, but until we get six vehicles, it'll fit like this perfectly. So we're going to go ahead and back in the truck and see if this thing is going to clear it. I think the antennas are going to be pretty close, but uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. It's not even touching the garage. But if we do have to, we can go down on the suspension. We got any level lift, so that's pretty sweet. Let's back in the truck right about there. Should be good. So there you go. We got the mansion, the futuristic modern mansion all built. And we've also got all the new cars. So let's close up the garage. And today was a successful day. But there's one more thing to do on today's list. We're going to check out this house at nighttime. We've got the cool fire round back. And I think there's some cool lighting here at night. So we're going to go ahead and switch it to night and see how this thing is. I do have to say it does look good at night. Check it out. We got all the cool lights around top or the bottom of the roof. So it shines down on everything. We got them around the garage. Let's go check out the back side of the property. This looks so cool. I like how they shine down on the house. That's pretty cool. There is more lights right here, but I don't know how to turn those on. So we'll have to mess with it a little bit more, but we even got lights back here. So when you're hanging out, you got the fire. This is a cool vibe, guys. You got the house, you got the fire. Check that out. It looks so cool. Well, that officially concludes today's mansion build, guys. If you like seeing these videos and you want to see more mansions like this, drop a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.